Strategies, a basic part of Survivor that have completely shaped the history of this game. Strategy started off simple enough in Survivor Borneo with the first ever alliance, and it has made many progressions along the way to where we are now in Survivor All-Stars, where a new strategy emerges, the Meat Shield strategy. I wanna thank you all for supporting this channel, subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing are crucial to this channel's growth and making all of this possible. If you wanna do more to help make this channel an all-star, they consider supporting supporting us on Patreon. You get every video weeks early, and you get to vote for which survivors I tell the stories of, and of course you get an exclusive Patreon-only video each month. Thank you for your support. So what is the meat shield strategy? Basically, it is having someone else do the social part of the game that could be potentially harmful to you game-wise, and they take the heat for these decisions and actions while you hide behind them. There will be a few good examples of this in this video, but basically the person acting as the shield is the face of the alliance and the person hiding behind the shield is typically smarter. They are, after all, the one fully embracing the mantra of work smarter, not harder. Now I do have an in-depth video all about Amber Burkich's game if you want every little detail, but for this video we will be focusing on the crucial elements of the strategy that she pulled off successfully and how it works as it has been used to great success again and again over the course of Survivor, the most infamous time being in season 19 but that is another video for another day. Today, we're focusing on Amber Burkich, our brains in this alliance, and Boston Rob, the meat shield. Now, Amber will never call Boston Rob a meat shield, and that term won't even show up in the show until many, many seasons later. However, she definitely embraces letting Rob do all the dirty work as the aggressor of their alliance while she hangs back and helps him think things through before he actually does them. This happens time and time again in the post-merge game of All-Stars, as Boston Rob and Amber have to cut player after player with whom they have made deals with, but they're not going to be keeping those deals. Now, the danger of cutting these people is that they will be angry at you at the end of the game for breaking your deal with them. However, if it is only you and the meat shield sitting at the end, and they are angry at that shield for what they did, even though both of you are responsible, then they will more than likely vote for you. But Keeping the meat shield in the game has people gunning for them and not for you, and that is also crucial to get to the end. So let's start with the first example of this in All-Stars for Amber and Boston Rob. It begins with Lex Vandenberg. Now prior to the merge, Amber and Boston Rob were split up due to a tribe swap that only lasts for one episode. Amber's tribe loses immunity and he makes a deal with Lex to save her, and Boston Rob says he will help Lex later on in the game. If you can, if you can. Today, after the challenge was over, I grabbed the legs. I said, if you can save Amber, I'll remember it and I'll help you later on in the game. But Amber also does some legwork back at camp by promising Kathy and Lex that they will be there at the end of the game with her and Rob if they choose to save her. Right now, I'm just gonna try to make a lot of deals and uh, promise them a longer time in the game if they promise me a longer time in the game. So now both Rob and Amber have promised things to this group of people to make them feel good about keeping Amber, which they end up doing. The merge happens in the next episode and keep in mind that now Boston Rob and Amber have deals with everyone left in the game minus she -Ann. So it seems like the easy target would be to just vote out she -Ann. but the easy target isn't always the right one. In this case, the right target is Lex. He needs to go, and that is a tough decision to make considering what just happened. Now, Rob and Amber both have a deal with him to keep him safe, but it isn't Amber, the one hiding behind the shield, that takes the brunt of this burden. Instead, it is Rob who delivers the news to Lex and comes across as the bad guy. I appreciate everything you did to save Amber, but have agreed to stay together as a group. I can't even believe what I'm hearing. You got more allegiance to them than you got to me. I mean, After I asking made, me for a special I made friend an agreement favor. with them, I asked you for a favor. It's about being betrayed by my friend. Now all of the anger for backstabbing them comes back on Rob and not Amber. So Lex does get voted out and it all pays off for Amber at final tribal council when Lex says absolutely nothing to her and actually scolds Rob for his actions, keeping in mind that she's equally in the wrong here and basically votes against Rob to win the game by voting for Amber instead. And I think the true measure of a man is what kind of friend he is. What kind of a friend are you, Rob? What kind of a friend were you to me? As good as your game was, 
You sold out your values, you sold out your character, and you sold out your friends for a stack of greenbacks. Let's look at a second example. This one is much later in the game as Rob and Amber are debating at the final five whether to vote out Rupert or Big Tom. Now, Rupert has been fairly honest after being busted that he planned on voting for Rob. However, Rob has the immunity necklace, whereas Big Tom has been talking secretly behind Rob's back to either be part of another alliance or to even vote Rob out. However, it seems like Tom is unwilling to make a move like that because he's too worried about looking good to others, including to us at home. And he doesn't want to be viewed as a flipper. So as Amber and Rob sit and work together to make a decision, they talk to Big Tom with Rob once again being the aggressor. Have you or have you not tried to mock me to get me kicked out of this game? So Absolutely far? not. You marked yourself every time you want. But it isn't just Rob who does all of this attacking. When Tom slips up and says he's the swing vote, Amber jumps in on him as well. I told you I'm the swing vote. No. If you, if you're you, with us, there is no swing. We're a group. There's no swing. While Rob does 90% of the attacking here, Amber is a part of it, but she picks and chooses her battles while letting Rob take all of the heat. Once again, this pays off at Final Tribal Council as Big Tom asks both of them the same exact question, asking why should I vote for you over the other person. Amber is actually pretty smart here and says vote for me because Boston Rob lied to you way more about bigger things than I ever promised you. She is throwing that shield in front of her. We really didn't break our word to each other, whereas you and Rob did. If you're basing your votes on who had a stronger word and who broke their word, I think I didn't really break my word as much to you as Rob did. And Rob doesn't help his case at all when Big Tom asks him, as I said, the same question as to why you should vote for Rob over Amber, an open-ended question that can be approached from a lot of different angles. But once again, Rob decides to be the aggressor, to be that meat shield and attack Big Tom instead, which does not pay off as Tom votes for Amber to win. You and I know inside what really happened in terms of who said what, and who lied about what? No hard feelings. No hard feelings, Tom. <laughs> Don't be stupid, stupid. I may have failed for seven once. I failed for it twice. Not this time. Rob thought of you as a brother. I stayed, I defended you for 36 days. And when you find out the true story, Maybe you can call and apologize. And Amber does win the game four to three over Rob. So these are all crucial moments for someone who is hiding behind a shield to take advantage of in order to win. Let Rob do all the dirty work. Only one person realized what Amber was doing the entire game, but by the time they realized it, their game was almost done. And that was she Ann. She's so sweet. You hate to hate her because she's so lovely and she's got those beautiful green eyes. But you know what? She is one of the shrewdest players out here. When she does realize it though, it's like the light bulb goes off and she realizes Amber is the mastermind and Shan does give her a vote for being that mastermind. This vote is for you out of respect. You are the mastermind right now. So from one she devil to another, this is the vote I'm casting tonight. The meat shield strategy isn't pretty. It won't gather you a lot of respect from the general audience and Amber never really explains it all too well. And I don't think she ever planned on utilizing it as it kind of fell into her lap when she aligned with Boston Rob. Quite a few winners have utilized it though to win in their own seasons and some have even vocalized and explained it in a far superior fashion. But no one did it before Amber and if they did, it wasn't to even the same level of success as she had. Now this strategy is commonplace in the game today and has evolved, but the basics still remain the same. Find someone who can be aggressive, align with them, make them the face of your alliance and either be sure that they have annoyed enough people that at the end of the game, people award you with the money because they hate the meat shield or, and this is more commonplace now, vote them out right before final tribal so everyone can see how you were the mastermind of the Alliance the whole time. Thanks for watching. If you like the content you see here, then please support me and this channel on Patreon. Your financial support makes all this possible. So thank you and thank you for watching.